Yes, you can hear me. Great. All right, thanks for your patience. That's great. But um, we can get started now. So I'll ask Isaac a couple of questions to kick off. And then if you all just want to, um, if you think of a question, I'll, um, I'll look at you all and just put your hand up. And I'll try and get around to everyone that I can. I think I can see you all. Um, but when, if I point to you and say we're going to have your question, you just wait until there's going to be a microphone going round. I can't see who's got it. Is it Lucy? Have you got it? There she is. So Lucy down here is going to run up and come and give you a microphone. So if you just wait until it arrives and then speak nice and clearly into it and ask your question to Isaac, that'd be lovely. But to start off, I think uh, I'll ask Isaac a couple of questions. Can't miss my opportunity. Um, so I was wondering, what's the key to being a voiceover actor? Well... I think it's a very different process to, to what you might call normal acting or, or live action acting. So that's, you know, it's really you. You're not just giving the voice to it. And certainly I've heard some of the other actors in this, so Sir Ben Kingsley and Al Fanning, say that they had to put a lot more through their voice um, because you don't have the medium of, 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 of your face and the subtleties of that. So you, you have to sort of go a bit more, almost panto, if you will, with your voice. Um, but also, I think on the flip side of that, there's the fact that you're kind of actually sharing this role with, with the other actor in it, and that's, those are the animators, because as, as you kind of saw at the end there, it's, it's not CG animation, it's all stop motion, so, so they all have to, they, they build everything, all the sets are built, and then they have to move all the characters, so the animators also breathe a lot of life into the character, just as the actors do. We're going to be sharing the mic. And you brought us something here. Some Is this props or is this, yeah. is this what they actually use? Can you talk us through this? I hope everyone can see it. Or maybe you can come down at the end and have a look at it after. So I thought I'd just bring this along. This is a little gift they gave me at the end of shooting. And it kind of demonstrates really well how they do the whole animation process. So what's really different about Leica is they combine this very ancient art of stop motion, which was kind of, you know, the very start of filmmaking, with really cutting-edge technology. So I don't know if any of you have heard of 3D printers, which have just started to become quite, quite new recently. That's, that's how they do the animation. So they print out... So, so what happens is the voice actor does the voices, and then they have a whole department which listens to them, and then they create the faces that should go for each sound. So if I'm going, ah, oh, they'll make a face like that, or eh, and, and so on and so forth. And then they print thousands and thousands and thousands of them out. Um, and then what they do is... They can click them in and out of place. So I don't you see that. And then they take a frame, and then they change the face, click a new one on, and then they get a new frame, and then so on and so on and so forth. And it's a really, really long process that takes incredible amounts of time and takes a very particular very patient and some might say slightly crazy person to, to spend years of their life doing it. So just to give you an idea of the time frame, about each animator will produce under 30 seconds of footage a week and then they have to create a 90 minute film. So, so that's quite, quite, a, quite a process. It takes a special person to want to do that. Um, so, the, I mean, everything about box trolls is fun, but I just love all the little characters that the box trolls play and they've all got their individual personalities. Um, so I was wondering if you yourself were a box troll, what would your what would your box say? What would be your you know would you be a fish or eggs or but what would you be yourself? I think I would steal sweets box just because I like sweets, so I can keep some sweets in there. <laughs> Is anyone ready to ask a question yet? Is anyone? Oh my goodness, brilliant! So let's go straight down the middle here. I can see you, you're wearing your green jumper, and it's a nice, yeah, that's it. So if you want to stand up, you can tell us your name and your school if you'd like to. I'm Abby and I go to St Peter's. Hi Abby. So how long did it take to do the voices for every character? <laughs> So overall, the process of the entire film, from the initial development, so when they first came up with the idea, that was about seven years ago. Um, and I came onto the project, and most of the other actors did, about two years ago, in, in, in 2012. And it's not all, you don't do it all in sort of ten days straight of voice sessions. It's kind of spread over at least a, a year and a half. Um, and you'll do a session there, and then you'll do another one. And, and what you'll do is you'll repeat 
um, a lot of the stuff you've done, and especially for me, because my voice changed quite dramatically throughout it. Um, so, 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 yeah, uh, it's, it takes about two years for the voice process, but overall a good, good seven years. Thanks for that question. Good question, Abby. Who's next? Let's not make it too difficult for Lucy. I'm trying to do it strategically. Yeah, do you want to go to that boy in the white T-shirt who's got his hand out behind you? We'll come round methodically, you know. <laughs> Lovely. Again, do you want to stand up, say your name in school and ask your question? I'm William, and I'm going to St Peter's. Um, is there any bits in the film that you didn't like? <laughs> Oh, I didn't like. Um, I don't know if I'm legally obliged to say no. <laughs> um, I, I don't think I'd say there's anything that I didn't like. I would say there were sessions that were harder to do. Um, so I suppose you could say I, I, I didn't like those, particularly the scene where the box trolls appear to all be crushed. That was quite a difficult one to film. Um, but I wouldn't say I didn't like it, but it's not a very pleasant scene to watch, definitely. Lovely. And who have we got? Oh, someone enthusiastic over here. Up in, yeah, just behind you, Lucy, there on your left. Yeah. Again, stand up, say your name, school, and your question. Um, my name's Iris, and I'm homeschooled. Um, what was your favourite bit? <laughs> my favourite part was actually getting to visit the studio where they do all this this animation so it's this huge sort of it's a it's a three acre warehouse in portland which is just in the very sort of northwestern side on, on the pacific ocean in in the united states um and i was lucky enough to be able to get a tour of that and and then you see just it's it's kind of like the tip of the iceberg watching the film and then you you go under the water and you see how much more is involved in the process now i mean would you think there's a costume department on an animated film? Because I certainly didn't, but they have an entire department dedicated to costumes. So um, what they'll do is, is they, have to, they have to get the scale right for it on a miniature one. So say they were using a real jumper, all the threads would look too big on the screen. So the way they get around it is they, they buy these special antique Victorian gloves from a, from a store in, in Portland. And, and cut them up, and the woman there has actually stopped selling it to them because she knows they just destroy them. Um, and then all the way to, to sort of, they have armatures. So you, the, the puppets you see in there, uh, they've got this very clever sort of metal skeleton underneath, which has got loads and loads of joints. And I think they cost sort of the price of a car to make. Um, and, and they come up with really innovative ways to move them. So they can operate one remotely using a, using sort of... Um, tension strings and and then all the way to, to the props department and, and the, the animation department and, and it was really a very very special experience to see all of that and, and see the process Lovely, thanks for your question Now let's come down let's come right at the bottom here and see you, eager with your hand up and say your name and your school or oh, just your name and your question My name is Lydia and I go to St Mary's um, my question is, what, what's your favourite part um, of the set that you were working on? Mm. Um, the, um, so, so I got to visit the sets afterwards and my favourite one I think was the Box Trolls cavern um, because it's huge. It's, I mean it is on a miniature scale but it's sort of you know, probably my height in, in, in size and they've got the, the, did you see the clock in the middle? That, that, that's a very intricate piece of machinery. And, and the great thing about it is everything works. You know, the big, big Snatchers vehicle, everything on that works, all the way to the cogs and machinery, they turn and they actually make it move. Um, and that's the extraordinary thing about stop motion animation. Everything has to be real. It's like a real movie, but you just scale it down onto it on a tiny side. Lovely. Thank you for your question. Let's go. Oh, just everyone's got a question. Lucy, um, yeah, there's the, oh, there's two girls next to each other. Yeah. Um, my name's Ellie, I go to St Mary's, and my question is, did you always dream of being an actor, and if so, um, did you ever think it would happen? I very much fell into acting by accident, actually. I just went to a local drama group here in Canterbury, 
and the, the TV shaman were doing something called the open casting, so that means anybody can, can go and have, an, uh, have a try for an audition. And my drama teacher kind of said, look, just go up and, and have a laugh. It, it, it'll, be a, it'll be a good experience to, to, to go and have a window into the, the sort of world of, of show business, if you will. Um, and it, it just so happened by a, a series of coincidences that I managed to, to get the part. Um, so it was, never, it was never my intention, I don't think, but, uh, but I've had a really wonderful time doing it. And then the, the girl next to you had a question, did you as well? And then maybe we'll swap over this side for a little bit and then come back and try and get you all in. I'm Maddie and I go to St Mary's and my question is, how much did you get paid? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't think you suggested that question. I don't think I can ask it. That's an excellent question, but we'll probably. Is there another question you want to ask as well? Do you have anything else? Uh, what character are you most like? Oh, good one. Am I most like or do I like most? Most like, oh, um, I think I can say that I'm, I, my, my sphere of existence is fairly far removed from most of the characters there insofar as I'm not, you know, a maniacal pest exterminator or being chased down and persecuted. Um, but I, I'd like to think I'm actually kind of similar to Eggs. I don't know whether that's just because I've, I've kind of known Eggs best by playing him, but... We can't, I'd like to think we're both sort of natural leaders. He has to he has to take control of, of, of the box trolls, and, and I'd like to think I'd do that. And also, he stands up for things when 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 other people may sort of shy away. And I'd like to think I'm I'm, I'm like that. Okay. So eggs, I think. Good question. Um, let's come over this side, Lucy. All right, I can see lots of hands just going mad. Particularly a girl in the I think someone in a white top at the back. Still got your hand up, still. <laughs> My name is Evie and I'm a solution. If you had the chance to be another character, who would it be? Oh, if you had the chance to be another character, who would it be? Okay, great. That's a really good question. Hmm. I think it would be fun to be a box troll to make all the noises. Um, and I don't say Snatcher because he's so horrible. Um, so I think that leaves me with... I think Lord Portly Rind would be quite funny. Um, just because he's, he's so pompous and, and so caught up in an obsession with cheese. I think that would be great fun to, to play. Great, and someone next to you, have they, they got their hand up, I think? I go to Eastling, and my name is Xavier. Why did you decide to play Eggs? It wasn't really a matter of me deciding to play Eggs, actually. It was more, I mean, I, I did an audition for the role of, of, of Eggs, and, and, and the very fact that they offered me the part at all was, um, was, was enough for me to, to get on board. Um, but... Eggs is, is, a, is a great character, especially sort of the, the kind of the hero character, so, so that was certainly fun to do. Okay. Um, yeah, Lucy, I think next on your left is someone with their hand up. Yeah. I mean, this whole group has basically got their hand up, so we should just go around swiftly. <laughs> um, my name's Sam. I'm from Eastling. How long did it take to make the film? How long does it take to make the film? We've sort of had a similar question, but in total, did you say it was seven, seven years? Which is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard to imagine. Um, thank you for your question. That's great. And who else have we got? Um, someone waving like this. Yeah. I mean, basically, Lucy, just pass it to everyone. <laughs> and don't worry, we'll come back into the middle. We'll come back over here. Uh, my name is Tommy and I go to Eastling. And my question is, why did you decide to audition for the Box Trolls? Mm. Um, 
I think the fact that stop it was stop motion was 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 a key part. I'd never ever done anything animated before, and I didn't. Uh, I kind of had a, a grasp of of how special Leica, the company who made made the film, um, is, and, and how unique they are. Um, but also, I did like the story. It was a very sweet story, and the story was actually quite different um, when when I first read the script. I, I, I mean, the hilarious man from Fru Fru wasn't even in it, so that was a real bonus. Um, but yeah, I, it, it was a sweet story, and the fact that it wasn't all sort of very, um, you know, sweet and cushy, and it, it, it ne didn't necessarily, you, you didn't necessarily think it had a happy ending, was, was quite a, I thought was quite a nice, I don't know, a nice story, a nice twist. Great, should we have a couple more questions up in this area? Um, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Hello, my name is Casey, I go to Easting, and what did you enjoy most about doing the job? Hmm. Um, as I said, I did really enjoy getting to visit the studio, um, but one of the, 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 one of the parts of the actual voice recording um, process, which was really good fun, was at the end of every single session you'd do, so you'd do about two, three hours of, of voice work, and at the very end, you do these these things called vox, um, which is short for vocalizations, which um, which are basically if you if you listen to in the film and you see all the bits where Eggs is landing and he's going oof or he's going ah and he's getting hit by snatcher or whatever, so you'd spend an hour at the end just making all manner of very bizarre noises. Um, and also, the thing is, you're not actually with you're 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 not with the actual other actor as you as you record the process. So you're on your own, and you do have another person reading reading the script, but it's not the uh, the actual actor. So that was that that's something you might not necessarily have thought about voice acting. Lovely, and we've got yeah a girl at the front here, and then I'll come back into the middle for a bit. Uh, yeah, just on the most front row. Lovely. My name's Marty. I go to East Church Primary. What are your three favourite characters and why? Okay, um, that's a good question. I think I like Mr. Mr. Pickles and Mr. Trout. Uh, are definitely two of them because they're hysterical and they they have these little moments all throughout the film, pondering the sort of the duality of good and evil, and then that little clip at the end where they start talking about existentialism is, is, is very funny. Um, and, and their ongoing crisis about whether they're good guys or bad guys. Um, so so I, li I, I like those. And, and as, as Mr. Mr. Trout says, people love a flawed hero. Um, and furthermore, I think I'd say Sparky the Box Troll, because he's, he's got that very kind of slapstick element to him, constantly getting electrocuted, which just makes me laugh. Great question. Um, so Lucy, if you come at the middle, and there's some people not, not even sitting on seats. So, oh, just like on the, behind you, sorry Lucy, that girl with her hand up sitting, yeah, on the aisle. Lovely. How long have you been, like, my name, my name is me, and I'm from East how long have you been acting for? How long have you been acting for? Good question. Um, I think it was towards, it was just at the end of 2009, I, I sort of got my first role in, 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 a, in a TV show or movie. Um, so that's five years then, or close to four years. Um, so yeah, about four or five years. And how old were you at that time? How old were you when you started? I was ten. Ten. Who here is ten? Well, there you go. Can you imagine starting in your first TV series or your first film at this age? Quite exciting. Okay, great. Let's go for another question. Here on the side in a white t-shirt. There we go. Who inspired you to be an actor? Again, I don't know if I can say that, in particular, anybody sort of inspired me to be an actor because I never really sort of intended to to to, to be an actor. I I, I really enjoy. I, the reason I, I did drama was because I loved 
Have you, have you guys ever played the drama game like Bang? Have you ever done that when you're in a circle? Yeah, that, I love doing that and, and doing that every weekend. Um, and then that turned into this, which was, uh, which was quite unexpected but, but, but very cool. But um, I've certainly enjoyed, in, in terms of actors who I found very funny, um, I, I, I'm a big fan of comedy, so people like Simon Pegg and Nick Frost and Rich Dioetti, who were all in this film, um, was, was, was quite cool, and, and I've, I've certainly enjoyed those. Um, so, and, and also, a big hero of mine is actually Spongebob. Um, who here watches Spongebob? Yeah, very good. Um, so, so I think he's probably, he's probably up there in my idol. Great, and then let's go. There's a couple of white t-shirts there. Very eager couple of boys there. My name's Liam and I go to St. Peter's. Um, did you have anything to do with the animation or was it just the animators? Sadly, that, that part is only left to the animators, but I did get to, to have a little window in on what they do. I mean, I actually got to do a little bit of my own animating, so I got to move my character a bit on the sets. Um, but as I said, so the lead animator on this is, is a guy called Travis Knight, and he also runs the company... Oops. <coughs> <laughs> runs the company Leica who made the who made the film, and 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 he will he will spend there for days and days and days on end doing doing animation. So I I don't even think if I would have the patience to do it because it it's it's a bit like it, when you shoot a real film you can rehearse it you can plan it you can change it on the day. There you've got one shot. It's like every day is opening night and and you you can't rehearse. Um, which, which makes it such a difficult process because if you're halfway through filming, and this, this sometimes happens to them, the character's arms will break or fall off, and, and it's, it's, it's a real pain when that happens because if, if they were just to add another one on, then you would see it on the screen. So, so it is a very particular process animation, but it's, it's really fascinating, and the way they do it is very special. Lovely, thank you. And we're just going to come down here, if that's okay. And just a white t-shirt down, white shirt down here. I know this question isn't necessarily about box trolls, but what's the favourite thing you've ever been in, like movie or program or anything like that? Box trolls is definitely up there, um, purely because the the animation side was was so exciting. But I think for me. Being a part of, of this, this TV show called Game of Thrones, which is you, none of you should watch because it's far too violent and uh, <laughs> very, not, not very good. Um, that, for, for a teenage boy, walking around with sort of swords and, and getting to ride horses has been so cool. I mean, I would have paid them to, to let me have a go rather than them pay me. Um, so, so I think that and box trolls uh, are probably the best things so. That's lovely. And the boy next to you has got a question, doesn't he? So go there and then. Um, how long did it take you to learn the script? Lucky for me, um, I'm not very good. I, well, in, 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 in stop motion, you actually just get to read it off a, uh, <laughs> off a script because you're just in a recording booth, so you don't need to worry about doing all that. But particularly when I did a, a recording session with um, Sir Ben Kingsley, who plays Snatcher, um, he, he would say he would refuse to read any lines that he hadn't been sent in advance um, because he sort of read the script so meticulously. And, and there I was coming in, not even knowing what lines we were doing. So it, it showed quite a different style of, of, of um, line learning. But certainly for, for things where. Uh, where you have to, to know the lines and, and say it straight off. I'm not very good at that. I kind of, I turn up in the morning and, and, and learn them on the job, really, because in, in live action, you, you do the scene. I mean, a scene that might take five, three or four minutes on, on screen will take an entire day to film because you do loads and loads and loads of different angles, and then for each angle, you do it, you know, five, ten times. Um, so by the time you've done it four times, you know the lines anyway. So it, it seems one of the most daunting parts of, of acting, learning the lines, but really it's, it's not too bad. Giving away all the trade secrets. Um, and, okay, let's come over to this side because people are 
um, so many people asking questions. So um, just throw the mic into the area. Um, uh, the girl right at the end of the row, should we do that? That seems... Hi, my name's Ella and I go to St Mary's. Do you prefer stop motion to acting out in front of That's a very good question. I wouldn't say as such that I prefer either one. They're both very different and they've, they've both got their own things which are slightly better or slightly worse. So I'll give you a, a rundown. Um, stop motion is great because you don't have to get up at six in the morning and go to some boggy field in the middle of nowhere and, and spend all day, you know, crouching in a little tent waiting to, to go on set. Um, and that's, that's one of the things about live action. There is a lot of hanging around. Um, I mean... 50% of the day is waiting to go on set, 20% is getting ready to go on set, and then you know, the remaining 30% is actually doing it. Um, so so that's, that's one of the benefits about stop motion animation. And also you get to go into this very nice air-conditioned studio with a, you know, a, a, a buffet laid out before you to just uh, eat away at, <laughs> which is quite a nice perk, whereas in, uh, in live action you haven't got that. But on the other hand, you... It, it, it can be quite um, intense, the, the, start, the, the, the recording process, because you spend sort of a good three, four hours all together going through the same lines over and over and over again, and it can get quite, um, quite intense. Yeah. So very different processes, but uh, I think if I had to pick one, I would, I would do stop motion. <laughs> That's great. I'm afraid we're really running out of time, so I think there might be only be time for one last question. Um, are you still holding the microphone? So we'll pass it to the girl next to you. And we'll see My name's JC and I go to St Mary's. Um, out of 100%, how much fun did you have? 4,673%. Um, it, it, it really is such a fun process. Um, and, and, you know, it doesn't all end when you've finished recording the lines because then you get to, to, to go and do a whole press run and you, you get to hang out with all the people you've done the film with, most of whom you haven't actually met um, because cause you don't see them during the filming process. Um, but from start to finish, it's, it's been really like, like a, a, a big family because what was nice about the recording sessions is they were kept quite small, so there was only the sound engineer the producer, one of the directors of the two directors we had, and and that was pretty much it. So it felt always quite quite intimate, and and it, it was a really really sort of personal fun experience, and and it helped that everybody was was really friendly and really nice. Particularly the directors, I got on with really well. They're really funny guys, um, and share a lot of my sense of humour. So we got on very well. But really good fun, good fun making the film. I think that's a good note to end on, 4,000 and something, something percent. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who asked questions. I'm really sorry to everyone who's still got their hands up. I wish I could go around every single person, and I'm sure Isaac would happily stay, but the University of Kent might get a little bit upset with us. Um, so 